Hello ladies and gentlemen, Xcentauri here and welcome back to another video. Now I hope all of you are doing really well today in this video because today I've got a very very cool video. Now the aim of this video is to get a smooth landing in every Airbus aircraft on infinite flight possible. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and we've got 11 aircraft to get that smooth landing in in as short time as possible. So hopefully we can get through one aircraft a minute. Um, so we're going to spawn on the runway and we're going to short final approach and then hopefully we're going to nail every aircraft first time. Now for this video I shall be using the HUD mode unfortunately. Um, if you guys would like to see me do this without HUD please let me know because if, if this video does well uh, we'll be doing it without HUD. But as you can see the first aircraft we've got is at A220 and we're coming in very low I feel but I think we've just about leveled it out and we should be alright. Now... I've already sort of forgotten if I said I hope everyone's doing well today, but I hope you're doing well. Um, I think that was a smooth landing there. That was sort of buttery, I think, uh, for the A220, if I do say so myself. Make sure there's no audio on. Um, I think that was a pretty smooth landing, actually, for the A220. I personally love this aircraft, and it's definitely my favourite aircraft in Infinite Flight. So at the end of each replay, we're going to quickly um, head back and just you know confirm it was a smooth landing. Um, which hopefully it was, uh, fingers crossed. Now, I'd like to also bring it to all of your attention. I know I said this a few videos ago, but if I'm not replying to all of the comments or some information I'm giving um, isn't fully true, it's because I'm currently in the middle of packing for university and it is very manic at home. Um, so I'm very, like, sort of delayed with this sort of stuff, unfortunately, at the moment. But you can see the Air Baltic. Oh, I love this livery. It's so amazing. Just coming in. That was a pretty smooth landing, okay? I'm going to take that for a smooth landing. That is one aircraft done already. We're going to the A318. Let's go British Airways because we're at London Heathrow. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get a smooth landing. Because if we can do the A2, A318, we can do 19, 20, and 21 pretty easy. So we're just going to sort that calibration out. And here we are coming in on short final here. So we're going to slowly pull up. Now, there's also something else I wanted to let everyone know once we land this. So hopefully, oh, oh we're a little bit off centre line, but we're, it's all right. That's all right. We're going to fix it out. Bit of rudder. Bit of rudder. Oh, okay, right. I feel like the initial touch was bearable. Um, should we do it again? I think we'll get away with that because I feel like we're going to need a few more attempts in some of the other aircraft. Now, I want to bring to your attention, if anyone has any video requests that they'd like to see live on the channel, please let me know. Because if the video requests um, are good enough and I'm happy with it, um, I'll be more than happy to obviously make a video on that. So I'm going to quickly skip to the bit where we're nearly landing. I'm going to get rid of that. Here we go. Coming in fast. This aircraft looks so cute as well, if you ask me. I think it's a little cute aircraft. So here we are. Are we going to do it? A little bit of rudder. I don't think that was too bad. It was a bit bumpy. Um, if we have time at the end of the video, we'll try it again. Now on the A319, let's use the Air Berlin livery. Come on. I was thinking the other day that I've not actually flown an Air Berlin in ages in infant flight. And I think the Air Berlin 737 livery looks pretty cool if you ask me. It nice would be nice to see if they add Air Berlin on the A330s, which we do have in infant flight at the moment. So we're now on the A3. 19 in that little air belly delivery. Look how cute it is. Oh, and we are okay. We have to try that again. There we go. We're a little bit heavier than what I thought we'd be, um, but that's all right. We can deal with a uh, over maximum landing weight. We've done it many times in a flight, um, so we're going to be missing that touching zone by just a little bit too much there. Um, but we should be all right in there. And here we go. Oh, okay. That was quite a nice landing, I think. I think we did pretty well there in the A320, if you ask me. Um, so it's just uh, the A319. Oh, I'm getting way ahead of myself already. I think we did pretty well on that A319. Um, come on. Hopefully, infant flight loads a bit quicker. Um, otherwise, half this video is just staring at this blank screen. So didn't land. we landed really late? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is where we make the money. Did we do it? Do you know what? We're going to watch that one more time because I think that was pretty smooth. Come on. There we go. Bomb. Oh, okay, right. Come on. That was a beautiful landing, I think, there. Yeah, we're, we're completely ignoring today. We'll do American Airlines history. We're completely ignoring 
um, on this video stuff, whether we have got the right touchdown zone, right speeds. I'm sort of ignoring that. And what I'm really, what the main aim of this video is, is to see if we can get some really good smooth landings. So again, we are attempting every Airbus aircraft near for flight. And there are about 11 of them, I think I counted right at the start of the video, already forgotten. Um, but here we go, the A320, a bit of a more popular aircraft near for flight. I'm high, I can't wait for us to get into the Airbus A330s because they are literally... Um, a smooth landing addict and I mm, I think that was an all right landing there I'm a bit worried about when we get onto the A321 in a minute because when we get onto the Airbus A321 basically what it means is it's a longer aircraft it's got hard because it's only got two landing gear for each like drop down section um, if you guys can understand what I mean by that um, so it's a bit of a tricky aircraft I think to land and did we do a that was really that was a really nice landing yet again there. Yes, I thought that landing was a lot more rough than it actually was. That was a good one. So the A three twenty one. Let's go on. Let's see. Let's be Dragon Air. I don't think I've ever used a Dragon Air livery actually. I'm surprised it didn't have to download. Um, I must have used it for a video before. Um, but I think the Dragon Air livery is actually pretty cool. Let's just admire that quickly. I believe it's based in Hong Kong or something, Dragon Air. Um, someone would be able to let me know down below. Um, I feel like this challenge would be a lot harder without HUD, um, but the video would be much longer, so we are going to have to try that again. So here we go, on the A321, I said it's the aircraft I'm most worried about here, and it's already proven that. So hopefully, we, we, are, gonna, we are aiming to still get within the touch zones. Um, oh... Okay, that actually, I think that's an acceptable landing there. I don't think we need to re-attempt this landing. I think we did all right with the A321 there. Um, we're going to have to zoom in again very quickly. Unfortunately, if a flight like half this video is going to be on the replay loading screen, unfortunately. Um, but that is no issue there. And I hope everyone is very excited for the Embra E175 rework, which is due soon in Infinite Flight. Okay, that was an all right landing. I'm happy with that one. I'm very happy with that landing. But A330 freight. Oh, this aircraft, Turkish Airlines, surely. So, this aircraft is the old A330 um, version. And if you ask me, it was the easiest aircraft to butter in infinite flight back in the day. So, fingers crossed we can just replicate that with the old physics of the aircraft. Fingers crossed. That's so just sound like. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is looking good. This is looking very good, very good. Come on, can we pull up a little bit more? Perfect. Oh my gosh, we've done it. We've literally done it first time. That was that was amazing. Um, okay, right into replay mode very quickly. I'm very excited after that landing. I think we pretty much smashed it there. I really think I, I think we got it first time that one as well. So that's amazing. Okay, it turns out this challenge is a little bit easier than I thought it'd be. Yeah. Lovely landing, that. Lovely landing. Okay, right, so we're going to move on to the A330-300 Airlingus, which goes straight in the first every there. Um, and I'll cut back to you guys once we get into the replay mode. Okay, so we are now... Oh, we're not in replay mode. I meant uh, landing mode, obviously. Uh, we're going to calibrate quickly. We're going to do short final again. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, we are really he We are really heavy. All right, here we go, here we go. Lovely. We're a little bit off centre line, but we're going to ignore that. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful, that. Oh, my gosh. I uh, must see that again almost immediately. That was a beautiful landing. It's probably one of the best landings I've actually had in an A330. What is it with A330s and just being so nice to land? I've already decided for the A330-900 Neo, we're going to use the Air Belgium livery because that is a really cool livery. We should just get right here. Oh, we'll go here, come on. We've got to go, there we go, there we go. Uh, look at that. That was lovely and smooth. Wow. What landing. So we're on the near, straight in the air, Belgium. Oh, lovely, we're well prepared for this bit. So I feel like the Airbus aircraft in infant flight, quite a few of them are much easier to get smooth landings than in comparison to these Boeing aircraft we have in infinite flight. Um, I feel like, especially when we compare it to the Embraers, they are a pain to land. Uh, the Boeing 717 is like one of the hardest aircraft, I reckon, to get a smooth landing in infinite flight. Um, but hopefully, 
we do all right here on the A330 Neo. Oh, okay, right, I wasn't happy with that. So we're going to give it a second attempt, unfortunately, and hopefully we're going to be able to fix it a little bit earlier. So, like I said, the 717, I think, is definitely one of the hardest aircraft to land in infinite flight. Um, there's a few reasons for that. I'm happy with that landing as well. What a landing. Wow, we are on fire right now. Um, but the 717 is quite a tricky aircraft just to land it in general. But I think with its older physics being an old, you know, an old legacy, leg proper legacy aircraft in infinite flight, it is quite notoriously difficult. And it's well known for physics qualities not being, unfortunately, as good as the ones in infinite flight. So hopefully here we will load in. There we go. So that was the first landing. We'll watch both of them. Yeah, I wasn't too happy with that. So we'll come back to the other landing, get rid of that, see the whole aircraft. And boom. Okay, well, I mean, that one wasn't much better than the other landing, unfortunately. Now we brought ourselves on the A340. Now this, this one's going to be a little bit tricky, if you have to ask me. Um, yeah, this isn't going to be a fun one to get a smooth landing with. It's well known that the A340 in infant flight is one of the um, less great aircraft that we have in the mobile flight simulator. You can already see it's being a pain okay so hopefully we're gonna make it now uh, the mo the first issue i've already got here is that like the plane just isn't really very heavy so i'm gonna have to bunk on a load of fuel and this is exactly what i want to happen yes yes it, maybe not quite this bad actually i have to slightly change our waist to uh, our weight to nine hours and what I'm doing here, um, actually, is just lowering the actual, like, the descent rate of the aircraft. Now, what this enables me to do now is to have a little bit more control, I feel, when approaching the, like, literally when we're hovering over the runway. Now, are we going to get it a second time? No. No. That was not it, unfortunately. So, we're going to have to try again with these, with a little bit more, add a little bit more weight. We'll go... 7 hours 41, it's quite annoying that we can't quite get it right yet, um, but hopefully we'll do it again. It is, uh, to me, I think it's a weight issue of the aircraft, um, and the physics are a little bit dodgy on this aircraft, so there we go. Okay, there we go, so we're going to count that second landing, I think, and we're going to totally ignore the fact that we bounce, because um, that was not actually part of the plan, so we can go here and just have a quick look now. 14 minutes definitely isn't right. I was sat AFK for a little while because I had to quickly pause halfway through the recording. And uh, don't we just love it when you have to do that? So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be happy to count that that one of these last landings. So here we go. So we'll just watch this one. So I think we ignored this one. Um, and this is the landing that I think we really went through it here. So it's a bit of a weird aircraft to get a good angle for a smooth landing. There we go. That oh, that definitely wasn't it. Um, here we go. Right. So we pretty much bounced, didn't we? And then we um, there we go. So that second one was really smooth. Um, we're gonna we're gonna unfortunately I think the A three forty was a bit of a fail there from us to be honest. Um, let's take the Delta delivery. Why not? And. Fingers crossed we can get a good smooth land in the A350 because I feel like it's a bit like the A330s where it's a nice and easy aircraft to land which sets us up for a lovely challenge at the end being the Airbus A350 because uh, we're in the 50 right now so here we go. It's a pretty nice approach I feel like. It's quite a comfortable approach there. And we're descending still just a little bit. Can we peak up just a little bit more? Perfect. And we weren't back on a tail strike I don't think either so I think we pretty much nailed the A350 there um, we could have done a little bit better I think but we would be running out of time um, I don't want half an hour spent trying to nail the A350 um, so fingers crossed we got it I really hope we did really hope we got the A350 on that first time there so we're just going to skip to here here we go coming down over the runway no tail strike there and bang Okay, that wasn't as smooth. I feel like we had some smooth landings, but it's okay. We're going to move on to the A330. What We have to take Emirates. It's, it's like illegal if we don't take Emirates from the A380. Um, I feel like it, it should be like an unwritten law. You must use Emirates from the A380. So here we are. No pressure. It's done that thing the A340 did, but we've managed to stabilize it quite easy. And we are. Oh, what is our descent rate? It's crazy right now. 
Uh, we're not going to do it first time. Definitely not. We'll try that one more time. Uh, we'll press to try it a few times to get it right. But so perhaps the aircraft's a bit too heavy. Now, the thing is with the A380s is it's such a big aircraft. Like, look at the size of this thing. Um, so we'll have to pull up again. I might have messed up. Oh, I definitely messed up the approach there. Right, final attempt. Well, we're going to have to take that second one as our final landing because I um, you know, couldn't resist looking outside of the aircraft, which is a bit silly of me. Here we go. I'm going to pull up a little bit. Keep pulling up. Keep pulling up a little bit more. Okay, okay, right. I think that was acceptable. I think we might have done it there. I think we could have got a smooth landing in every Airbus aircraft in infinite flight. Have we done it? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. Right, this was it. This was that final approach. You can see us come in and... Yes, yes, yes. I am very happy with that. We'll just watch that again for fun, shall we? Here we come. Coming onto the runway. Just going to quickly caboosh forward in time. And... Bonk. That was pretty good. So... If you guys did enjoy this video, I know it's a bit of a different one, but if you did enjoy this video, please do make sure you like and subscribe because it does mean a lot to me. If you guys would like to see me attempt most of the Boeing aircraft and then the Bombardiers or some or even the Embraers, let me know down below. But other than that, I'll see you in my next video. Good night.